Hello, everybody. Welcome on into baseball here on youtube.com slash autosaurus rex for every day the Mariners play. You can catch a fresh game inside of MLB the show 23's franchise mode at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure to scroll down and subscribe. Ring the bell if you'd like to keep up with the last oh, 13 games, I believe, of the season. Uh, for 14? 14 games, 15 days, 15, 14 days, whatever it is. Last little handful of games here as we uh, round out the season in first place. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. If you want to keep up with it, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll be notified when I post new videos. You can also catch or um, you can watch all of the postseason here on the channel as well. So stick around for that if you enjoy. Uh, if you enjoy just watching some video game baseball, it's kind of a weird kind of uh, thing, but it's fun. <clears throat> All right, uh, we, <laughs> we're we heading to Oakland for one of the final times. I don't know exactly when that new stadium was getting built, but uh, we are heading down to Oakland to face Kyle Muller, 4-17 and 17 with a 4.68 ERA. Ooh, nice. Taking on George Kirby with a 16-3 and three record, a 1.70 ERA on his side. I like that it's every other even number, 4.68. And uh, we are in first place as we have been. Uh, we probably... I mean, I've been saying it all season long, but even if you shift this record around like a little bit, like, I don't know, 20 games, 30 games, maybe we'd still be still have a really good opportunity to win the American League West. It would just not maybe qualify us for uh, like the home field advantage, the the number one seed. Um, anyway, we're, we're things are locked up. We're going to hopefully kind of get into a better rhythm here against the Oakland Athletics and we will see. Uh, how that goes. Oakland has given us a little bit of trouble in the past, which isn't what you want to see. And we had kind of a rough game in yesterday's matchup against the Dodgers, which is a little bit worrying because you want to feel a little better going into games like this against teams that you should be crushing. But we have had trouble in the past with this team and sometimes the teams that I feel like we should be beating by 35 runs or whatever um, do tend to give us a little bit of trouble. We're going to have to tinker around with our lineup here um because we have a lot of guys who need rest so hmm let's start with Tramel coming out here in the center i know it's a lefty lefty matchup we'll go ahead and throw him down there teoscar in right will be cole calhoun we have sam Haggerty in left who should be in left anyway, because he is stronger against left-handed uh, left-handed batters. Uh, Mateo at shortstop, perfectly fine. Haggerty in left, good. Ty France, Colton Wong. Suarez is about the only other guy that I would like really want to put in a different spot. Um, and if I want to do that, what we can do is flip him and Ty France. Flip those two for just a moment. And then we put Evan White up there. So that's three guys who get some good rest. Um, Raleigh's the DH against the lefty. I don't love it. It's helpful if they bring in a righty from the bullpen, but I don't know. We have a couple of switch hitters. Mateo Haggerty. Mm, ideally, Crawford's there. I guess Colton Wong is fine. I don't know the oh boy, that is a it's a bad speed. Um his secondary is second base. We can we can give somebody else some rest. I didn't actually mean to do that. Hold on. Uh shoot. Who did I put? Who did I put? Dylan Moore. And then second to third, right? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have I done wrong here? J.B. Crawford at second. Dylan Moore. Oh, did I not have Moore in the lineup? No, Ty France. Oh, shoot. I, I don't know what I did. Oh, flub. Uh. Crap. What did I do? Dylan Moore is probably fine. Oh, it's Ty. F no, Ty France is resting. 
Ty France is resting. I don't think I actually had him resting. I think I was going to put him at third. You know what? We'll, we'll just run with this. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we'll double check, though. He's in a fine position. He's in his correct position, primary position. Thirdary position, tertiary position. Calhoun's in right. Evan White's on first. That's all he can do. Cal Raleigh's designated hitting. Tom Murphy is catching. Trammell's in center. Okay. I think I goofed something up there, kind of, but it all worked out. So, here, here we go. Here we go. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. I am so grateful for it um, as we uh, run through the rest of this season here. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show. Happy to have you with us. The show. Rebels. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Oakland Athletics. I don't Athletes. think we're going to get a game of the week out of this one. First pitch coming your way next. It's game number 150. Just about set. And today on the hill, Kyle Muller. Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. Man, four and 17 with a nearly five ERA. Right. Can't let those numbers get me all hyped up and get me excited about the possibility of like a big game. Just got to try and take it in stride the best we can. Hitting has not been a strong point lately. Um, it's been kind of... Uh, Feel like feel like that's been maybe the most inconsistent piece of the, the game for me, pitch. which isn't surprising. Close, but call the ball. Okay, so that's and the kind of strike zone we're dealing with this or uh, dealing with today. Ninety-seven on a four seam, eighty-nine on a slider, eighty-three on a twelve-six curve, and ninety on a circle change. Line to right, and that'll be. We'll get a little in. little bloop shot out there, so that is good news. Mariners coming off a sweep of the hands of the Los Angeles Dodgers in real life and really putting their playoff opportunity in jeopardy. Um, I just don't think you can... It's like a little bit of bad luck, but the team's also been very inconsistent throughout the season. So. It's, it's, it's an inopportune time because, like... Uh, the Dodgers are like really good coming in in mid September. And now the lefty pitch out. Pitch out, but, but no action. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they can pick up some wins in Oakland, but Oakland gives them trouble. As I would imagine most divisional opponents would give you. One -one. Fought off even foul. if they are very very bad. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. Got me with a fastball. Fuck. Didn't trust that he was going to go low with a fastball. got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something. A couple of little bloop shots here. That works. JP Crawford putting him in scoring position. That's good. It's not going to get any easier for the Mariners. I think they really, I think they have to sweep Oakland. Um, because they're going to face Texas seven of the last ten games, and the other three are against Houston. So, we'll see how it goes. I feel like I would be not surprised at either result. Like, wow, they reeled off. Uh, they won. What, how many games we left? Three. Six. Thirteen. Right now, if you if you told me they won like ten of their last thirteen to make it into the playoffs, wouldn't be all that surprised if you told me that they lost ten of their last thirteen to miss the playoffs. Okay. Next offering is in for a strike. Come on, man! God damn it! All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Hit weekly on the ground. Geloff. Feed to second. That's one. Over to it was first. Pretty. Six. It was a slow he enough roller. Enough. And he did a really good job Calhoun pinning it right on the edge of the zone. Here's Cole Calhoun. 
You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, they try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Lift oh, in that's the not. Center field. Makes the grab on the run. And that's not the what we're looking Mariners for. Nothing. A's coming to bat. Ooh, You're dialed into hits, show. but nothing doing. Welcome Here is back. our pitcher, and George Kirby. One, George 16 and 3 in 28 starts. A 170 so, ERA. 169.2 innings pitched. Uh, 152 hits, 12 walks, 180 strikeouts, under one whip. The way he did last time out. That's what we call the good stuff. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jace Peterson. The second baseman. Pitch location has been frustrating the last couple of days. Yesterday's that curveball I don't really want to use, so we'll probably stay away from it. Uh, pitch location, though, has been an issue lately, and we had one of the worst strike zones I think we've seen all season. I don't know what I did wrong. Look out. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the guys in this lineup. Got him swinging for Sorry, the Sorry, it wasn't intentional. Yes, it, it, was a, it was a red line. I don't know. Digging in for Oakland, Connor Capel had the day off yesterday. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. That one lifted to left. Puts it away for the out. Batting third. The shortstop. A let miss. A let miss Diaz yeah. now. Clips the corner. There we go. Strike now one. we're we're in the flow. We're in the feeling. That yeah, was just, just a little too much thought went into that one. That's something I say a lot about myself. The O2. Swings Adam and misses. with the slider. Okay. And good work there as he gets so we neutralized their three. offense Nothing in the first inning. That's the good A's. news. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Evan first White. Baseman, number 12, Evan White. The why to kick the pitch. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Everything that's came that. together. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We that was a similar. Uh, that's a similarity to yesterday, where a lot of perfect, perfect contact, but had trouble driving them in. Popped up. Brown settles under this one. Makes the grab one down. Now it's Tom Murphy. Good Pice just lit Not up there. In the OBP department. First pitch just misses. White over at second, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. The 1-1. One, one. It's a good take right there. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. White coming home. Now that was a really delayed send. 
Thankfully, it was slow enough out to center that it didn't really matter, but I wasn't sure if that second baseman or shortstop, um, shortstop in that case, was going to be able to get to it. So. Here's Taylor Trammell. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Oh, Sean. Hmm. Butler. Solid piece, piece of contact, bad out. Solid piece of contact that scores a run, bad out. Come on. The way it did earlier in the regular season. So the batting order turns over. Jorge Mateo now. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Well, with two down. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And that one almost got him. Kicks and fires. Bounce to the left side. <sighs> Darn it. That's just foul. A little better timing. Maybe could have tried to sneak it down that third baseline. Foul ball. Another Damn it. Two upcoming. Two outs. Yeah, there's a ball. It's a good take Great right there. RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Line drive. Damn it. The squeeze on that one, and <laughs> that that'll sucks. end the inning. <laughs> that but just the that RBI sucks. single pushes across a run. It's now one nothing. Four Back hits, but only one on run across. Not what we're looking for here in the early going, but it does feel good to get uh, some of these hits. Started a little earlier. No errors. That's an improvement. Back here in the East Bay. Bottom of the second. So here's Brown at the plate. The pitch. And there's the strike. And a swing and a miss. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat too much. Good on that shit. One. Let's Came go. After with the fastball on O2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Gilbert and Castillo. Opportunities to win 20 games this season. In the air, right field, and it falls. Ooh. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. I think I was just a step above where I needed to be. I was trying to go towards the baseball, which is where I thought I was going to land, but I don't know if like you have to be in front of it for that. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. It's a good read by Calhoun, though. That's and that's in there for strike one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Struck him out looking. Let's go. He just never got the bat off of his shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And at that point, make an adjustment. Look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And... I'm just not sure what the plan was there. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. In there and it's 0-1. Foul away. Aguilar, Let's take care of this right now. Right here. Away. Right now. Damn it. Next offering is Damn it. Back. Butler, you're not following the plan, sir. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard. Sir, and sure had home Butler. Distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, 
You executed. Just a long strike. In the air, out towards left center. That one hops against the fence. Aguilar headed for the plate. Cut off. Now a throw home. It's offline, and he scores. It's 1-1. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Now here is Zach Gellar. Next yeah. down, bring his Dang. for a strike. All you well, do that's is unfortunate. They have eight speed all the way around, huh? Back into the dugout. I mean, it was a pretty a awful out. throw. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right hmm. there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back in Oakland, all set for the start of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Sam Haggerty. Haggerty. The pitch. That one ripped. Oh. Base hit. Whew. Oh, I thought that was going to get... I thought that was going to be in the glove. The batter number four, second base. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. That's a great take right there. The zone. Great take. And that misses Even better off the take. outside edge. Tied up here in the early going. The next offering misses. Even and better take. Three wow, three Two even better takes in a row, huh? For the Back to right. Darn it. And Just early on, on it. On it's an okay approach. I mean, ideally, you probably take that and then maybe go with the next one, but... Saw what he was doing just a little early on it. For one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. That one ripped left field. Way Oops. back there. And it's gone. Yes. Two run blast. Oh, my God. I thought I screwed up An the base running. Blast Sorry, Sam Haggerty. You were in between first and season. second when it's I told you to go home one. and then back to second. And the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Change up up in the zone is a hit. Yeah, like, did it's we BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times the pitchers ask I don't know that we even had a home run in either of the last two games. I would guess maybe one in the seven nothing game. But it's been a lot of small ball uh runs lately. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. Calhoun, a former Gold Glove winner, hitting fifth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. That ball. one ran inside, almost got him. One ball, one strike. Still only one out here in the inning. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Goes down oh the shit! Well, just I the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I that was that was, was not a good approach by me at all Did with two strikes. For some reason, I thought there was one strike. I was like, oh, that's an okay pitch to let go. I don't think I would have been able to catch up to it anyway. To third. Early on the slider. Damn. Well, that's okay. We get a two-run blast from Dylan Moore, so that is good news. This two-run homer. It's now a three-one ball game. And welcome back. Now here is Manny Pena, the catcher. Kirby back to work. Swings and misses. Going one. In the air, left field. Haggerty has a beat that on it. It's not where I wanted that to go. And there's one down. 
Now back back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Chase Peterson. Peterson. A pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. That I'm looking. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, the plate looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip your cap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. And now, Connor Capel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Ground ball to the right side. And it gets by him. That's all right. That was, a, was one of those seeing eye fastballs. Or uh, seeing eye base hits. Over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough oh, behind man. it to shoot it through for a knock. Diaz. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Diaz in oh, the box what? with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Comes up empty okay. on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Got him looking. There we go. Yes. That's what we're looking for. And they still trail it here. Three to one. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Cal Raleigh. He's fucking settled down. And that's in that's a good strike. take. I was looking a little more runners. up in the Still zone there. Good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly a hundred percent of their swings. The one-one is fouled. Off. <laughs> that was it. Damn it! Kicks and deals. Come back oh, under the mound. Shit. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. So here's Murphy now. Single that drove in a run his first time through. And a foul ball. Ground ball oh, left side. Sean. Over to first, and a couple of quick outs. Let him go one, two, three here. It will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a pop up right side. Oh, the territory. Fuck. Brown puts the squeeze on that one, and that. God is that. damn it! God and fucking one, two, three, damn it! Again with this the shit. Lead remains three one. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Seth the first Brown. Baseman. The wind of the pitch. Brown. Strike one. You know, Go these ball. A's Let's just strike. haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high Let's rate go. today, so it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. That ah. one's in there, and it's one and two. And a pitch. That's out to center field. Trammell sizes this one up. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. It didn't even down. give me the center fielder. It said LT to switch. I didn't do anything wrong there. I followed what the game wanted. For the A's. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Spoils the Jesus, two strike pitch. Jesus, why? Another. Why? 
Righty delivers. Line drive, base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. No he ball. stayed inside no that fight. ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Fly ball down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Got him looking. And two away now. Coming out that number two. Excellent Shit. location on that inside fastball. Oh, really locked him up. The and it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. In the air out towards right center. That's a that's Trail a terrible pitch. Makes the grab. Terrible pitch. Arguably a worse swing. One. Score holds. It's 3-1. We're giving up a couple of who, uh, a couple of hits to Aguilar. Back here in the East Bay, ready now for the fifth inning, and now the shortstop Jorge Mateo. Mateo. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. Pulls it in the Damn it. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back. On the infield, got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Haggerty in the good take right the there. Time today Don't get too aggressive. Off the Into the outfield base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. That misses, and it's 1-0. Line drive, base hit down the line. Haggerty, round second on his way to third. Ooh, maybe Peterson not a great a send. Got it. Time. There we go. And a run comes Good speed, score. Haggerty. Let's go. Nice piece of hitting from J.P. Crawford. Might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here comes the skipper. And we're wow, gonna they're going to go to the bullpen immediately. Kyle Muller gives way. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Gunnar Hoagland gets the call from the pen. He last pitched two days ago. Taking a look at those numbers. Don't want to get too amped up. 18 uh, appearances in 30, with 34 innings. An ERA over five. 26 to nine strikeouts to walks. Righty's batting very well against him. Lefty's uh, notably less so. He uh, has a 95 mile an hour fastball. 88 on a slider. 84 on a changeup. And 94 on a two seam. And first offering and is a change up. Absolutely should have demolished that. I was looking right where it was, and the timing just was not there. There's a strike. It's fine. Runner at second here, one gone. Ball one ball there. One ball, two strikes. Ooh, got me with the slider way out of the zone. For strike three. Shoot. Now it's the right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Going one. It's fine. Oh, one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Crawford rounds third, headed for the plate. And that will push and in a run. 5-1, Mariners. Run. Here we go. The, here's where the issue nice starts to show up, side. right? We get into these good Just flows. Stay. We have those nice big opening game wins. And then games two and three are a struggle. 
We had it against Los Angeles in the most recent series, a 7-0 victory and then a loss and a one-run win in extra innings. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Reaching Damn. for it and breaks Damn. in. Damn, I knew it. I knew from the sound of the bat that it did, didn't get enough of it. Five Last runs on nine hits, hits not terrible. It's and we've done a good job of shutting down this offense. Long. We've given up a couple of hits uh, over the last couple innings, but still in he command here in a good off. spot Trying we want to try and push kirby Oakland, even though i think he has the least the the pitch. or the, the like the lowest hey, stamina of our starters you know, i want to so try and push him as deep as possible quality swings we've already seen eight line drives from them and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat and that's what this offense has been doing so far today the catcher manny here's manny Pena. First ball. offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. Next pitch is outside. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Now he turns and heads for second. Not in time, it's a double. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys the have batter. a better Double chance six. of hitting the ball hard like Second he did right there. Yeah. Peterson right here, in the box man. now. No balls and a strike. Next ball. one misses. Ah, <laughs> sinker, come on. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Do I have anything? Ooh, sinker, I guess a curveball maybe. Yeah, the righty deals. On the ground, and foul, it goes foul, just foul. foul. Thank no, God, that ball was so far out of the zone. I would have been honestly pretty mad if he had gotten that pitch down the line that would have probably scored a run. Because he's probably going on contact with two outs. Runner at second, two down. Curveball is a pitch that I just, I don't feel like I've ever had a great feel for or like a good understanding Mateo. of when to use it. Fires over to first. Yeah. So that'll get Getting us through five here. I think we try, try to get him through seven. That might be a big ask, but it's probably not as big of an ask or as big of a, uh, it's probably not as important as I think it is. We just have some some six. guys in the yeah, bullpen yeah, that I'm not Rowley always here. the most like comfortable Rowley with, you know. Goes six feet three inches, two hundred and thirty-five pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over three hundred in his um, last ten games. Right. Well, these Mariners okay. doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The numbers say their chase rate or swings at pitches outside the zone is under twenty-five percent, and I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. Ooh, a slider got me. That's not what I'm looking for the there. Uh, it's a good, it's a good pitch selection. It looked good coming in. It dove down, and then we, I was on top of it. Timing a little on the late side of good. But. Line drive, and that's base hit out of the center field. Yeah. That was a, that was a lot of the kind of hits I was looking for throughout the Los Angeles the series. To be aggressive. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. One gone runner at first. And now the center fielder, Taylor Trammell. And there's a foul. Thank ball. God that was foul. Murphy leads off first with one away. Hoagland. In his rookie season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, oh, and he works in late. a two-seamer. Now they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. 
Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Here's the 0-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Probably an okay swing, but better lucky than good. That's a good take. Zone That's the first ball of this at-bat. That's not good. The change-up. So all we've seen are change-ups and sliders. And a pitch. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. And it's caught just in front of the wall. It's perfect, perfect. That's just a really nice catch. And it's a catch. Right Come here. on. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Yeah, Back the to the top point. of the Seattle order. Jorge. And here is Jorge Mateo. Mateo. And the first oh. pitch misses Ooh, for ball one. Good eye right there. And a pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that is the third out of the Ooh, inning. So no what I'm looking here for. in a base hit, no errors, and one left. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the M's five Shoot. and the A's one. That is not what I want. God damn it. All right. Bottom of the six. That's fine. In. That's fine. Everything will be fine. All right. I'm going to take a quick break. We'll take a sixth inning stretch here. Quick timeout. We'll be back with more baseball right after this uh, quick pause. I'll be I'll be back. All right. We are back. Hopefully the audio is fine. I guess if it's not, it's only uh, three and a half innings Old instead of, led me you know, a lot more. All right. Kirby on the mound here. We and want to try and get him through comes. seven. We do have that day off on Thursday, on so it's not edge. the worst thing. Uh, but we are going to probably rest some players toward the end of the Late season. Fastball. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've oh, not no. been able to commit. The good to news, though, is we've been able to produce some. Here. We've been able to produce five runs. Granted, Trammell typically Jackson, in the lineup. He held up. Um, now three and one. He just hasn't been lately for whatever reason. When he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands. That's me not being attentive enough. It's a little frustrating, sure, because the location isn't where I want it, but it's also just it's me not paying enough attention to what's what's going on. He swings and fouls. I am pleased though. Five runs. It's more runs than we put up yesterday, and we don't have Rodriguez. We don't have Ty France. We don't have Suarez in the lineup. We don't have some of our more powerful bats in the lineup, and we're still able to uh, get runs across and get a get a ball out of the park. So that's that is an encouraging sign. Now Aguilar has been a thorn in my side all flipping day. I wanted that one. There's a strike. Two ball, one strike. The next pitch misses. Come on. Now three and one. There's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Yeah, whoops. Three two on the way. The punch out God, there. Wow, really surprised they got him with the fastball. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have I don't think we're actually going to be able to get him through seven. We're going to need to get a pitcher up and a really good job of the pitcher immediately. Try to go there as often uh, as you can. The numbers are in your favor. That one fouled off. Like I was saying, he I believe he has the lowest stamina of the five starters down the right field line and he can't quite get 16 in the second foul. nine in the first he's in double digits um for a lot of these innings 
One and two now. Gets I think there. We'll do it again. Who's the who's? We have a like a different guy in. Um, thanks to the injury. The one two. Or maybe not thanks to. Towards first, and that's just foul. Or just because of the injury. To Marco one Gonzalez, two. he might have less stamina, Stays but alive. he's not one of our like. He wasn't one of our season starters. What is happening? Why can't I put this guy away? And a one two. Hard hit, right side. Tossed to Thought I goofed that up again. Three. Not maybe one the most attentive situ situation. Oh, why video ended? And welcome back. Kesha, what in is the switch hitting outfielder, Sam Can you Haggerty. Stop? Goodness. All right. Switch hitting Sam Haggerty. I need to get a pitcher up in the bullpen. That's a terrible swing. That's a terrible swing. It's a terrible swing. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Maybe caught that one off. The end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Oh, Sean, right no. That is so bad. And two away to start the seven. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Seattle, Dylan Moore. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and he just misses. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Sam Mole, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Next offering popped Drop. in the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Oh, that is the okay. inning. Nobody left for Seattle. They leave this one, though, 5 1. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Lawrence Butler. The Athletics in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. I don't even know if I. Oh, okay. They're ready to go. I, I don't think we need to be fucking around here. So I think we need to just things over to the get right. things going. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be in their toes with him on the bump. Okay, what? That's that's a strike, but all right. And the pitch. Not what even up? close there. And that's ball one. And he takes a strike. No need to offer it that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. He handles it himself. All right. Nice job there, Barlow. Now batting, the third baseman. Zach Gellar. Up next for the A's. And fouled off. This to third, more. Tosses to first, two up, two down. And we haven't, it feels like, it does not feel like before I put this team away, we have a good lead and I think we're in a good position to pull this victory out. Um, but. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. We still no, might need to use Castillo or to Munoz. Everybody needs to if things get, uh, things get a little tighter. with two now this one popped up foul ground first okay. base side Marlow comes in throws a nice uh, tidy end. number and of pitchers and we are ready order. to go to They're the here, top of the to eighth one. inning ten hits five runs 
looking a little bit better. We had four hits and one run earlier, so that was 25%. We bumped that to 50%. Back here Runs ballpark, to hits. Ready to begin the eighth, and now the right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Cole Calhoun, not a large sample size for him. I hit a little. Eh. I don't always want to use him because he is. And that one a little bit. He high. has like good the power. Accepts a bullpen action. Sam but Bowl, getting ready to speed go. is a big concern. Next offering is in for a strike. And he dodges that fastball. Bounce oh, to the right. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The pitcher covering the bag. First that out is. in the top of the eighth. And now yeah. first baseman, the first baseman, Evan White. Almost drove one Evan. out of here last time up. White. Flied out to the warning track. White started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Pitch misses there. Two balls, no strikes to count. And a swing and a miss there. And he really right. sells the change bad. Of that arm Pretty action. Pretty bad right there. On the ground to third. Fuck. Four seam didn't stay up. On to first. Up in the two zone enough. Damn it. The top of the eight. Now batting. The designated hitter. Cal. Now it's Whoa. the DH. Cal Raleigh. Swing Damn a it. high fly ball left field. Rooker under it. Puts the squeeze on That's it. And that ends the inning. Oh, they there just I feel like quietly there. They're up five. We just do we do so well and there's just way too many innings where it's like one, two, threes, and they're five or six pitch innings. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Jace Peterson. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Crawford. Throws to first, and a quick out number one. Now batting, the right fielder. So digging in, Connor Capel. Capel. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Late with the swing there. That one the other way, and just foul ball. Just foul. Andy Ochoo gets a piece and stays alive. Foul ball still 0-2. Left hand batter waits. Good eye in that spot. Come on. Swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Waves Thank you. For the Fuck. Oh, that was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. He gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Diaz. Yeah, you went. Yeah, you went. I mean, well, I don't know why you're checking. That was a strike. Why are you checking if that was a check swing? It doesn't fucking matter because it's strike one regardless. There's a strike. Boo, come on. Sheriff, what are you, what are you doing back there? I started to remember who the name was. I was like, is it? The 0 2. Bows it back with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the. I'd love on. if Barlow could throw this. Slider just a little further out of the zone. This ball's chopped on the ground. Crawford tosses to first. <sighs> okay. That's the third out. All right, so we're through eight. We should be able to wrap this victory up quite nicely. This is what I was expecting. This is what I wanted, you know. Uh, not like the breeziest game in the world. We're not up by 
a touchdown or whatever, but got a lead, lost the lead. It was a tie, and then we were able to get some runs right back, made it 3-1, tacked on a couple more. Leading off, Tom Murphy. It'd be a little difficult, even for myself, just to kind of try and keep focused here, as we don't have a whole lot to play for. Four seam fastball at 95, a slider at 89, and a circle change at 89. Just playing for pride and not wanting to lose to the awful the Oakland Athletics. That should be enough. But we have had a couple of times where I'm like, oof, you should have been paying more attention to that. We threw a threw a walk and got a strikeout. Um, because I was just like, I fucking didn't even know what the count was. Whoops. The left-hander is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Close, but called a ball. Ball two. That's in there. Mm. Here comes a pitch. Out towards right center field. Capel coming in on it. A lot of Murphy's contact has been on that outside. Um, that outside edge in the upper half or so. And now the center fielder, Taylor Trammell. There's a swing and a miss. That looked like a case of Holy deciding shit. to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next to hit, Jorge Mateo swings through that That's one. That's a good slider. I mean, in the same way that that first four-seam fastball being out of the zone was a good pitch, that slider was really good as well. Hard hit, left field, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back base hits, solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now here is Sam Haggerty. Ooh, that's that into a double play. Oh, oh that sucks. Double play. Oh, that's it's a fuck. So it's no runs on two hits. God damn it. No that is the most dangerous away. position out for me to be in, is a fucking nine. man on Four, first five, six, and one out. out. It's the M's five. Oh, just inexcusably shitty. Fuck. Last chance for the home team. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. On the mound now, Matt Brash. Matt Brash, 48 games with a 6-3 and three record. 16 holds, 57 innings with a 3-0 ERA. 78-7 strikeouts to walks. I literally did not... Do anything other than slightly adjust the controller. pitch there's a strike deal two I'm not getting a lot of swings and misses on these pitches. I, I do think it's, I'm helping them out by throwing them kind of in the same location. There we go. Remember that one. Some high cheese for strike three. High cheese. That's what I have. 420 cheese. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment boot, get back on track. His team needs it. Aguilar, batting with one down, takes a strike.
That's towards center. Please. Aguilar. Stop it. Squeeze That's who we should have been trading and for. And there are two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Brent. Brent Rooker. Up next for the A's. There's the strike. And now one strike away. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And a Got it. All right. Miss. And that is the ball game. So Mariners victory 5-1 nice here series. in Oakland to open the three-game set. Um, all right. That's, uh, that was what I was hoping for. That was what I was expecting out of this. I mean, this is not a good team. I, you know, they have, we have had trouble against them. We lost a really weird game, 11 to eight in this ballpark, which is unbelievable <laughs> that that happened. Um, and two of my worst defeats, just as far as like the most lopsided defeat we've had all season was to a team that is well under 500. And the, maybe the most frustrating loss would be that Oakland Athletics. I mean, we've had some some frustrating losses. A couple of them. The, if you look at the the Orioles game that we lost back in Baltimore, it was game three of a four game set or game two of a three game set. Um, the one actually one of the recent games, Tampa Bay, where we blew a lead and lost by a run. Uh, that was pretty brutal as well, but we've lost a couple of real stinkers to real team or real stinker teams, you know, go back to Kansas City, go back to Oakland in Oakland a couple months ago or a few months ago at this point. But, you know, this team does give me trouble, but we were able to put on, you know, some runs in three separate innings. That is good. A couple of innings where it was a little too quick. One, two, three, you know, five pitch inning. That's not what you're, not what you're looking for. But a victory is a victory. We'll uh, look forward to hopefully sweeping this team and getting that getting that rhythm back before heading to Texas for the final time this year. And then we'll come home to play Houston and then Texas one last time. George Kirby is your player of the game. Six innings pitched, five hits, 11 strikeouts. Uh, the one weird walk and the one earned run. Kyle Muller, he gets the loss. 4.1 innings pitched. He gave up eight hits, struck out two. Five earned on his line. He did not walk anybody Kirby with that win. Dylan Moore was one for four with a two-run blast. Crawford was two for four with a double. He knocked in a run, scored a run later. Evan White was one for four with a double. He scored. And Sam Haggerty was two for five. And he, when he got on, got on base, he made his way around and scored two times. Aguilar, two for four, had the lone run. He was the problem man today. A lot of power uh, in there, so... Yeah, uh, where was that Oakland game? It was back in, well, all the way back in May. Yeah, 11 to 8. And it, this was kind of like maybe the start of, um, would, would we give up hits a lot early? Give up four runs in the first inning. Wow, that's wild. And then got them back and then gave up four more in the fourth. Oh, dear God. But then you can see 18 hits. We had 14 of our own, sure. There's an error in there somewhere. But like when we give up, hits like that it is uh, it is very difficult to stop that's uh and that was the case with the 13 to 2 drubbing here in kansas city as well um 17 hits two in the first two in the second two in the third three in the fourth three in the sixth one in the eighth i mean they we just could not stop them um so yeah that was you know going i, I had i don't know just it was a good win today. We have had trouble with Oakland in the past. 5-1. That's a good victory. And we will advance the day. I kind of forgot. I lost the thread on where I was going there. Luis Castillo looks to make his march towards 20 wins. Uh, we'll, we'll get one step closer to that goal. He is 18-7 and seven with a 177 ERA. Ken Waldachuk. He is 5-16 and 16 with a 458 ERA. Mariners Athletics tomorrow. 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on the channel. So be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell, and you can catch game two of this three-game set. We'll win the series tomorrow with a victory, um, or we'll have the Oakland Athletics will force a rubber match in game number three. Don't want to see that, but it is a possibility. Um, 
to get a quick peek here at the standings. The White Sox, they're a game back of the Astros. Each team has won their last game. Uh, the Rays are the least comfortable of the, like, comfortable teams. They're only, was that, two games ahead of the Astros and three games ahead of the White Sox, so that could be interesting. I'm not sure who they're playing right now. We can maybe take a look at that. In the Central, the White Sox get within two of the Twins. The Yankees and Blue Jays have been close all season. The Rays looking like they're going to have to just kind of settle for a wild card. Unbelievably, every team in the American League East has a one-game losing streak, which is wild. There is no other division I'm sure that's going to be like that. Yeah, no other division has straight winners or losers. Close in one of them. This one. National League Central. Almost all winners, but let's see. Calendar? Who are? Kansas City's playing Cleveland. They're playing the Reds. Detroit's playing Los Angeles. New Kansas City. Oh, Washington. Interesting. Chicago playing an under 500 Washington team. Yankees? Oh, man. That is good stuff. Six of the final or six of the next nine games for the Yankees and Blue Jays are between uh, between the two of those teams. So that could be very interesting to keep an eye on as we uh, as we move through here. Um, because if they can kind of beat each other up a little bit, maybe Toronto can or Tampa Bay can make a shot at it, and they'll have a shot to take down the or uh, the the Blue Jays at the end of the season. I didn't even consider that being a possibility. That is that is so interesting. Holy moly. Because you have an American League wild card now where the Yankees and the Blue Jays are going to... They play each other six times. And then the uh, the Rays and the... Um, the Rays and the Blue Jays will play. Could you see the Rays get knocked out or even the Yankees get knocked out if the Astros and the White Sox maybe we can knock their Astros out oh man this is kind of exciting we just got to focus on ourselves though and that's uh that's what we're going to do try and stay a little more focused here we have everything wrapped up that we need wrapped up we're the winningest team in baseball history uh it's going very well over here um on youtube.com slash on so thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed we'll see you tomorrow for game number two of this series good sports go Mariners thank you for watching